Hello and welcome along to another instalment of Diecast Restos, where this week I'll be restoring two coaches. These are the 21A and longer 21B versions of a Bedford Duple luxury coach. This smaller 21A was produced from 1956 until 1958, when it was upgraded to this. The 21B remained in production until 1961, when it was replaced by the Comma Bottle Float. This version was now 11mm longer, had a front tongue and slot fitment instead of two posts on either side, a smooth roof, and more intricate detailing. It also had a black base with more info than its predecessor. When new, both carried the exact same London to Glasgow decal fitted to either side. You can see how much smaller that decal looks on the 21B. This is what both are based on, a Bedford SB Duple Vega. Being a bus, Bedford supplied the chassis, while Duple were the coach builders. It really is a thing of beauty in real form. Someone had at some point flipped the base on the A upside down, which concealed the wording and the tubes that retain the axles. The rear axle was bent slightly out of shape on this one. The base on the B is similarly levered out, revealing a darker shade of green. The dark green appeared later on in production, but for the purpose of this build, and to create a matching pair, both will receive the same shade of lighter green today. There were few variations during the two years of production for the A. One run received gold trim, which is very rare and valuable. Silver or gold trim was applied to the grille, headlights and front bumper. Otherwise, the crimped axles either had flat heads or rounded ends. Aside from the shade of green, there were only a couple more variations on the B. The metal wheels were traded for grey plastic, or the rare silver plastic, while the axles exchanged crimped ends for rounded. Again, trim was applied to the grille, headlights and front bumper. The Bedford SB was a front-engined bus chassis built by the commercial vehicle arm of Vauxhall between 1950 and 1986. It was their first Ford control vehicle, and during production was powered by a variety of engines, including Bedford, Cummins, Leyland and Perkins. By 1980, 54,000 SBs had been built, with 38,000 exported. The largest overseas purchaser was the New Zealand Railways Road Service, who bought 1,200. In addition, the British Army, RAF and Royal Navy all took large numbers of them. Most coach builders built bodies featuring a single entrance door, though a small number did feature two doors. Coach builders included Harrington, Marshall, Plaxton and Willowbrook, alongside Duple. Duple were founded in 1919, who primarily built bus and coach bodies, until their demise in 1989. The Vega body featured a curving waistline, reminiscent of Duple's earlier designs. This made the Vega body distinctly different from other SB bodies. You'll notice I've left the base attached to the 21A model. This is because it was coloured green, where the 21B had a black base. The plastic wheels of the B had not escaped the red overpaint, so that is removed with some Dettol antiseptic liquid and can then be picked away before a wash. The metal wheels are washed too. While the plastic wheels are hammered back onto the 21B base, the metal ones are crimped onto the A using my locking pliers. Then it's time to apply those reproduction London to Glasgow red and yellow decals. On both models, decals were applied to the very upper edge of each side, encroaching onto the roof. A huge proportion of played with castings will be found missing these decals due to their exposed position in Scratch Central. You can already see the difference the size of the casting has against the equal size of the decals. After those reproductions have been sealed with Mr. Mark's softer solution, I begin detailing each casting. As mentioned earlier, both receive silver trim to the headlights, grille and front bumper. The axle ends are touched with chrome from the 2mm Molotow pen. I now repeat the process on the 21B.
Lastly, I reconnect the body and base. And there we have it. This is how my pair of Bedford Duple coaches looked originally. The smaller 21A had its base removed and flipped upside down, had a bent axle and was missing its decals. Its bigger brother, the 21B, had been repainted red with some of that spilling over onto the plastic wheels. Both were in serious need of a smart new livery, so let's take a look at how they've been transformed. Each now matches the other in an eye-catching coat of Ford Signal or Race Green, complete with identical decals. Silver trim has been reapplied to the fascias and chrome helps make the axle ends look like new. Other minor fixes included straightening out a bent axle on the 21A and flipping its base up the right way. But that's all there is to say on this relatively simple duo. I hope you've enjoyed this set of restorations. Sorry my recent videos have been pretty straightforward restorations. I'm running a little bit behind with my schedule at the moment and I pride myself on sticking to a weekly Friday release. But do tell me what you think in the comments below. Leave a like if you would and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to all you existing subscribers and a shout out to my loyal Patreon members. Thanks for your continued support. Follow the links at the end of the video to join them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.